What's going on guys, Joel here today and I'm bringing a brand new video explaining how you can make an easy, simple eye catching thumbnail on Sony Vegas Movie Studio 11, 12, 13. Now you can also do this on just the Sony Vegas, the really good version. And also I think you can do it on um, Premiere Pro. So starting out, what you want to do, especially for a gaming video, you want to find a really nice frame in your video for your um, thumbnail to be. Now you could, you could just get um, an image off the internet, however in this video I'm going to get it from the main video. So I found it here, to save it you want to go to save snapshot to file. Alright so now I've saved the image and I've put it in the timeline here. You can get it from up here, so when, when everything's saved on um, Vegas Movie Studio it appears here. So make it a bit bigger so you can um, find it easier. Um, as you will know, text in thumbnails um, has to be on point, like, it, it's one of the most important parts. So, I'm going to go to Legacy Text there, in the Media Generators tab, and just type in the How to make a thumbnail. Now, I'll see how it looks like. It looks sort of nearly perfect, but I might turn it down a little bit to maybe 65. That's great. And I'm just going to pick my favourite font, Grand Standard Clean. I'll place it just about there. They can actually change the colours, so in the thumbnail I really like the yellow. I feel like it stands out a lot and it just looks great. And for the around the letters, the background thing. Alright, so now we've got the how to make a thumbnail thing. I might actually make it just a tiny bigger than text, to about 72 like it was before. Sort of like trial and error. Uh, so right now it looks pretty good I think. I'll save that there. So what we've got so far is the how to make a thumbnail which is a text and a back before um, background. So what you can do now, what I tend to do is get a, an image or like a text without any background on it. Now you see what I mean in a minute and it looks really really professional if you do use this in your thumbnails. So as you can see, I just downloaded an image off the internet. Um, it's just about the full logo. And as it's a PNG file, it saves without any background. It's just purely the text. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull it down here. I might have to move the other text up a bit in a minute. But you know, that just doesn't matter. I got here. So I can just move it with these, and that looks great really. So right now, it all fits together and looks really nice. So I hope you enjoyed, and um, before I leave actually, I'll show you how to save it. So what you want to do, you want to enlarge it, just to see the, if, do you want this to be a thumbnail or not. So, go to start, if you want to press the same button, save snapshot to file. We'll save it and now I've saved it um, that's pretty much it you can open it as a PNG file it's easily uploaded to YouTube and yeah guys hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one peace